Every year, someone is making a turkey for the first time, and this year it will be more people, since a lot of people are staying home, and that's where Chef Turner comes in to help us make a great turkey meal as we talk turkey. But Chef Turner, we gotta say something, and I said this earlier, and you're the one who came and told me, if you did not take your turkey out of the freezer three days ago to start unthawing in the refrigerator, you're, you're in screwed. A, you're, you're in screwed. a bad situation. You're done. You're done. Yeah. You know what? That person who's gonna have the first, and you know, they thought they were gonna be awesome, didn't they? Yeah, You they know did. someone right now is like, <laughs> what? Oh my God, and they had everything all planned out, they had everything doing. And the reason why it's not good to take it out now and thaw, because people leave it out, which is not healthy, is it? Right, you don't want to leave any uh, poultry or anything like that in the danger zone. So the outside of the turkey will be in the danger zone before the inside thaws. So that's where you have that issue, especially with the larger birds. Now you can, in an emergency situation, run it under cold water, but then you risk the splash and uh, transfer of different salmonellas and different bacteria spreading to things like rolls that aren't going to be heated. Yeah. If it's heated, then it's going to kill the bacteria, but certain things aren't like a rag anywhere around the dishes, glassware, things okay, like that. Okay, so you just said something right there. So, okay, I'm going to leave it out, let it unthaw because I'm going to cook it and that will right. cook all the stuff out of it. But that's not really true at times, is it? Sometimes it's not. There are certain, um, certain bacteria that you, you can heat up to two, three hundred degrees and they don't die. Yeah. So you always have to be, you always have to practice the right and proper precautions just to be on the safe side. It's rare, but it does happen. And hey, it's 2020, we're not taking any chances. We're not. So with that said, if you are ready for uh, to make your dinner, what do we got going on? Well, we, this is a you know traditional Thanksgiving dinner. I went with the smaller breast. This is a, a get you in a, out of a bind because it thaws quicker. And uh, you know I feel like we're going for the smaller groups this year. Try to keep it under 10. Um, you know, we got to be very uh, cautious with the virus going around, things like that. So I'm going smaller sizes. This is something we could do for the family. And uh, obviously we have our uh, dressing here, some roasted potatoes, green beans, corn, pretty much staples. We have this. You could add some uh, whipped cream there if you want to. I put I a little uh, pumpkin spice. I made that whipped cream. Yeah. Go a little more than that, Brad. Go a little more than yeah, that. Yeah, a little Can more I? than that. Let's Can get a little I? more than that. Yeah, there we go. Can there we I? go. Can I? This is a little bit more. There we go. All right. So we got All a little right. pecan pie here. And okay. then just to do something a little different, a little um, pumpkin spice here. Ooh, I like that. You so. don't have to be, it's nothing hard about it. You can buy it, purchase it. So, yeah. And then I make my own cranberry sauce. Let's talk about that. I am not a cranberry sauce. I, I will admit it right now. I avoid it. I walk away from it because usually people take it and it comes out of a can. Mm -hmm. I never liked it. So super simple here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like your, you know, I like you. <laughs> so like really the um, I grew up eating the cranberry sauce right out the can. So like he was taking his spoon and gonna about to stab me. He's like, what? You don't like cranberry? Oh, hold on, this stuff right here. You're talking about what I'm. Uh, I know. <laughs> no, the canned stuff. Yeah, you can do better than that. Okay. We can do simple, you know, uh, fresh cranberries, little orange juice. Just bring it to a nice little simmer. Add a few, uh, you can add pumpkin spice, you can add cinnamon, sugar, things like that to it, a little seasoning. So there, see, that's Super the thing. simple. Maybe that's the reason why I've been having the canned stuff and it's just like laid out and just Yeah, the canned like, stuff just looks like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not what we want. <laughs> it looks like that's my not what soup. We want. <laughs> but yeah, this right here is good. It's got the tartness and the sweetness to go with, uh, like with the uh, turkey. I'm actually gonna uh, take a little piece off the top of this turkey here. Okay. We'll see what we got. See what we have there, what we take got a little here. bit. Oh, We're gonna take it off, that. now this has been refrigerated. So. All right, let's also be talk safe. about that. We know that uh, we want to be safe. And then what are some ideas really quick for, I know we know turkey sandwiches, but what else do you do after Thanksgiving? Obviously a turkey soup is good. Super simple. You'll make it like you do chicken noodle soup with uh -huh. some chicken broth, some veggies, some noodles. You could put cream in there. You could add whatever you want. You could add a, like do a turkey spinach soup. You could yeah. do a turkey and broccoli. I, I want you to try this right here, I, I'm Brad. Gonna try that. And I'm gonna give a little bit there. of this since you love it so much. Where can they find more of uh, Chef Will Turner? They can find me at chefwilliamturner.com and they can uh, follow me on Instagram at Chef Will Turner. I got a little um, little documentary in the works, so yeah. you got to check that out. Well, no, that's good. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Because I taste a little bit of the, the uh, citrus and everything. Mm-hmm. I like that. cranberry. Thank you. Ah.